everyone and welcome back to another game of Nemesis on the channel. We're back aboard the Nemesis, except this time it is still just a solo game, but in order to make things a little more difficult, we're going to play as two characters simultaneously. The soldier from the last two times joined now by the captain. The captain is going to be player one, and this might end up being a little bit longer as a result, so we're going to cut out all the, the talking and blathering at the start. If you want an overview of how Nemesis plays, I encourage you to go watch the first two videos where things are taking a little slower, only using one character. And for the most part, we won't be showing cards that are just being discarded to do generic actions. We'll show cards that are being used for the actual purpose stated on the card. Uh, but other than that, still just playing the normal game type. But because it's solo with two characters, I've pre uh, selected one solo cooperative card for each character. I've not looked at these in advance, but in order to be classed as a win, both have to be achieved. So we're going to do it that way. The captains, I genuinely don't know what this says, incidentally. No man left behind, send the signal, and all rooms have to be explored. Okay, so that's one thing we'll be striving to do. And again, even if they get out alive, if we don't do the objectives, it still counts as a loss. This is the soldier's objective. Destination Earth, the ship must reach Earth. That's actually pretty easy to confirm and do, on the assumption that the engines work, that is. So that's not so bad, the uh, the captain's one is a bit more difficult. So, different deck for the captain still has the same 10 cards. Most of them serve the same purpose. There's a couple of different things he can do, but we can talk about those as they happen. So without further ado, let's jump into another game of Nemesis. So we begin the game with the captain. I've drawn his five cards. And we're going to start by immediately getting rid of an interruption card to do a move. I think I'm going to send him to the right towards the engines. He does actually have a card where he can force someone else to move without their permission, but sadly didn't draw because that would have been a fun way to get the soldier moving as well. But I think I'm going to move him up here and we're going to ignore the corpse that starts in the hibernatorium as well. So discard one card, he is moving up here and we have discovered the shower room, which, oh dear. Okay, so it's very noisy here. I think that just means we instantly put noise in every direction rather than rolling for it, but I will double check. Yep, so that is indeed noise in every corridor, and forgot to mention there is of course two items, so I've turned the room now, because there's two searchables here. Uh, incidentally, when I was playing with a single character, I did forget that if you're using a single character, when you find how many items are in a room, you half it. I think it's halving rounding down. I don't quite remember if it's rounding down or rounding up. It didn't make any difference because I wasn't searching that much during those games, but that was something I utterly forgot, which does happen in a game like Nemesis, which has a bunch of rules. Anyway, Captain has one more action, and then we have to pass over to the soldier. I believe I'm going to do a search with an actual search card from his deck. So that ticks down to one search remaining, and we get to pick which deck we take from. He can discard either tools or duct tape to activate one of his quest items, so I'm going to go for the yellow deck, the maintenance. So we draw two and select one. Well, there's tools right away, so it'll probably be that. Our technical corridor plans. We're going to get rid of that, because with the tools, we can... Well, I think we actually have to wait till his turn ticks around but we are going to discard them in order to get one of his quest items. So our friend the soldier is going to get rid of his interruption card in order to do his first move once I can get these tokens out of the way. And he's going to go towards the head of the ship to see where we're flying to. So he's going up here and he has discovered cabins with slime and four items. But we do get the four items because I'm using two characters. So sorry that. We'll just turn it like that. He wanders in and for his trouble gets a big dollop of slime on top of his head. For his other action, does he have a search card? He does not, so he can't really do that. He could move again and risk getting attacked. Oh, sorry, we have to roll for noise, I forgot. Again, getting back in the habit. Noise in one means that there is noise down here. That's not so bad, that wasn't where I was going to send them, although we do want to search every room. So we're going to have to double back sooner or later. Hmm, I think we're going to move again. I want to get to the head of the ship to find out the destination we're going to as soon as possible. So I'm going to discard a rest card to move again. And we'll have to come around this side. And we're also going to have to move the camera. Because he is moving up to that top left room. You can just make out. I'll get a better camera angle in a second. Oh, lovely. It's the nest. With silence. Actually, I'm not sure if that still applies because he's slimed. I'll need to double check what trumps what. 
We also ideally don't want him to stay in there by the end of the turn, but for now we're back over to the captain. So before we head over to the captain, yeah, if you are slimed, the silence counts as danger instead, which is what we got for the captain. So there is noise in every direction for the soldier as well, and that includes the technical corridor. So we're back over here and uh, he isn't defenceless, the captain. He starts with a 6 sure, but it's a classic weapon. So you can't use the energy cells to restore ammo for it. You have to use, um, I think, tools or something. Uh, you can use something to get ammo back for it, but it's not the, the common thing you can find. So in order to hand in the quest item, we discard our tools. It costs one card to do this. So I'll get rid of... Oh, he has a card for it, that's right. I'll get rid of a basic repairs card, which lets us flip this over, because we've just done the objective. So now we have the intercom, which... All characters in a room with a computer may additionally be targeted by your order or motivation. Order can only affect a single uh, character. So that means we can, even if we're not in the same room as someone, if they're in a computer room, and we're in a computer room, we can sometimes force them to move which, if you're playing cooperatively, it still has a use. So that's one action. Do we want him to move again? I kind of like, he's got a suppressive fire and a reload left in his hand. I think I want to keep those in his hand. So at that point, we're going to pass with the captain. So it's just over to the soldier now to determine what he wants to do before the end of the first round. So for the soldier, I'm going to get rid of his basic repair card. I actually ended up with two very similar hands for both characters. He's going to move into the cockpit and he's just going to roll and hope that it's not a three. Because if it's a three, that's bad. It's a silence, but he's slimed, so I think that means every corridor as well. Again? I'm going to have to check. This is off to a, a wonderful start. Yep, that's all the more noise added to the board in any area that didn't already have noise. That slime really screwed him up. So he is in the cockpit, he has two cards left. I kind of want to hold on to those as well because there's going to be an encounter soon. It's going to happen quicker than I, I figured it would. So he's got full auto and covering fire left in his hand. At that point, I think that's good to hold on to. So we're ending the first round there. So let's zoom out a little bit more. Maybe I can just about see, you can't see the time at the bottom of the board, but you know what, that's okay. I'm moving the time track down to 14. There's no fire damage to do. There's no intruder attacks to do. So we're straight on to resolving an event card. Top of the deck. Consuming fire. Oh, always, always pleasant. Set the item counter to zero in each room with a fire marker. Thankfully, we haven't actually found any yet. Place a fire marker in each room, neighbouring a room with a fire marker. Fire does not spread through doors or technical corridors. So actually, we got kind of lucky in drawing that this early. Because the fire would have started spreading if we'd found any. And there will be some somewhere, I'm sure. Alright, so starting this turn... We're going to do a search using a search card with the captain. Get that out of there. This ticks down to zero. I'm going to search through the search the green deck this time. So, alcohol or military drugs. What are these? Discard any number of cards from your hand and then draw up to that amount plus one. Alcohol can be combined to make some disinfectant, I think. Uh, or you can scan and remove one contaminated card, unless it's infected, of course, in which case you take more contamination. I guess we'll hold on to the alcohol. That seems like a very captain-y thing to hold on to. <laughs> no judgement. And then for his other action, we are going to get rid of a rest in order to move. And we're just moving noisily, and we're heading north. And we want to start che uh, checking the engines. So he has found evacuation section B. What's wrong with it, though? Nothing. There's three items and the door's slamming down behind them. So, three. Walks in, door slams with noise in that corridor. And speaking of noise, one. That's that corridor. Now, I'm actually not sure what happens if there's a door in the corridor which creates the noise. Because, well, presumably you still get attacked by the intruder despite the door being there. Because normally the intruder would bang its head on the door. But, uh, oh, you know what? I totally forgot to do bag development. I always forget bag development at the end of the first turn. So this first thing I'm drawing is for bag development at the end of turn one. I totally forgot. Apologies. The bag development is a larva, which means it gets replaced with an adult. And then the encounter that's actually happening to our poor captain is he has discovered a 
shovel, shovel, shovel. He's discovered a blank. I think that means another adult goes in as well. Let's uh, let's check. Let's check because why not? So let's see. Intruder bag development. Larva remove it. Put an adult in instead. Yep, I was right about that. But as for being attacked. I need to remind myself what the blank does in that situation. Uh, I can't see it at a glance, so we'll be back in a second. Alright, apologies for forgetting the bag development, but that's been sorted now. There's another adult token in there. If you draw the blank, and it's not the last token in the bag, you just put it back in and put noise in every corridor. So he's basically back to the same situation he was in. Alright, we're over to the soldier, and he is going to check where we're going. But I need to get rid of two cards to do that. I'm going to get rid of a covering fire and a demolition. And that's just to check the coordinates. It takes two more to actually change them. Where are we going? We're on B. B is deep space. The Nemesis is being launched into deep space currently. So that means we do need to spend two more to actually set us to go to Earth. Again, we can keep it flipped up because I'm just playing solo. Normally you keep the information to yourself. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of good cards. I only have three cards left in his hand and they're all good ones for if you get attacked. Going to keep Nerves of Steel because it means he can't be surprise attacked. We'll get rid of full auto and taking aim. It hurts to lose them. But, got to do it. We're setting us to Earth, which is A. So now we know the ship is going to Earth. That means his objective is done. But, we have to do the captain's objective. So we have to search every single room. And, uh, well, the ship has to survive too if we're going back into the hibernatorium. So we need to make sure at least two of the engines are working. We need to search every room, and we need to have the captain send the signal, because as it turns out, which is something else I think I got wrong, um, characters individually send signals, one doing it, if they have an objective card that says it, that means it counts for them, but if someone else has one that says send the signal, they also have to do it. So that's the soldier done for the turn, even though it would technically come back to him after two more actions, we're just going to say he's passed, because he's got nothing to do. Now let's see. There's technical corridor noise, so you would have to roll a 1 to be safe in the engine room. So in order to be safe, we're going to discard two cards to carefully move so that we get to decide where the noise is. He's going to come through here into the engine room and say, hey, there's noise in corridor number 1. Now he only has one card left, you need two to check the engine. So he is also passing, which means we're at the end of the turn. Alright, end of the round, time tracker, moves, intruder damage, nope, fire damage, nope. We go to the event card and then this time, remember the intruder bag development when it's supposed to happen, rather than when we're part way through the next round. Event card, regeneration, each intruder on the board heals two injuries. We're getting very lucky with drawing event cards that are not hindering us too badly. Alright, intruder development, let's see what's happening here. Let's draw this one. I did shuffle it. I was drawing at random, but we drew the blank, which I think means uh, an intruder goes back in. Yep, add, uh, sorry, an adult I meant. Add one adult to the intruder bag, and if there's none available, you do something else. Yep, so as we start the next round, there's yet another adult token in the bag. Or going in the bag, I should say. So we're up in the top corner with the captain, and he is going to check the stats of the engine. I'm just looking at what to get rid of. Uh, let's see here. We don't need the reload, really. We're not shooting anything yet, I suppose. But yeah, we'll get rid of that in a demolition to check the status of engine 3. And it is working. I'm sorry, I don't remember what I did last time, if I flipped it over or if I flipped the top one over. But this time we're going to count whatever is on the bottom as being the thing. Just because of how far I have to stretch, it's easier to do that, honestly. So that engine is working, which is great. He's got one more action, and I think we're just going to move... We'd have to roll a 3 or a 4 to be safe. I'm going to move loudly, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move loudly. It leaves two cards in his hand, which might be okay if it's not an adult. We're going to move down here, through this passage here. We have discovered the generator, so we can initiate the self-destructive for whatever reason we needed to do that. No, we can't, because it's broken. Never mind. That was, that was close. So, there is two items. It's on the right thing. It's broken. We want a 3 or a 4. That would be a 2. So unfortunately, he has discovered something. Or something has discovered him, I guess we should say. I'm definitely shuffling this. I'm definitely shuffling. 
grab, you found this. It's an adult with a surprise attack warning of three, which sadly means it is going to attack him because he only has two cards left in his hand. So let me go look that out. Well, we found our first alien and it is getting to do an attack, a surprise attack. Let me just lean over here for the top card on the surprise. It doesn't have the adult symbol on it, so he's actually not attacking. It would have been the breeders and the creepers spawning. So we're actually okay. Well, okay is relative, I suppose. Uh, he's still in a room with a big alien. It's not his turn now, though. We have to go to the soldier. Well, everything took a turn for the worse over the other end of the ship, but the soldier's doing fine over here. I think because we want to try and help the captain do his objectives, we want him to snake around the middle back to the hibernatorium and then kind of round to the south as best he can. Um, and we want Nemesis to survive, so if we can find out the two of the engines are fixed or repair one of them if the other two are broken, getting back into the hibernatorium at turn eight is probably, or turn seven? Turn eight, turn eight would be our best bet. So, let's see, let's get rid of a basic, no, let's get rid of covering fire because he's got no one to help with covering fire where he is. And we're just going to move loudly because what's the chances of me not rolling a three or a four again? And he has found, oh, fire control. That's one of the optional rooms. The fire control room is on fire. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, there's one item in there and the fire control room is on fire. Where's the fire door? It's on fire. Noise. Oh, come on. <laughs> he has also discovered a thing. Although he is much better placed to murder things. So we'll see how this goes. Bang. Let's see what he's found. Be a pathetic little larva please. It's warning four, so that can't be good. It is an adult, so I'll need to go look another one out. He has four cards in his hand, though. There's his hand. If you, I was wondering where his search cards were. They were at the bottom of the deck. So that means the intruder is not getting to him this turn, or as he appears, but still a problem. Well, now we're in a bit of a predicament, because sure, the soldier can stay there and fight, but the room's on fire, so when he ends his activation, he gets damaged. Uh, I think he gets damaged again in the action step, and then of course the alien is going to attack him if he can't kill it this turn. At most he could fire four times. None of the cards he, have left, he has left helps him do damage. I think we're going to run. I don't usually like doing that, but yeah, we're, we're going to move. Which means that the alien is going to get a free attack on us. Um, if it was sneeze brewing, hang on. Oh, trust me, it's better you didn't hear that. Okay, we're going to move, as I was saying. <laughs> We get rid of a basic repairs card, we move, but the alien gets to attack us first. So let's draw the top card of the alien attack deck. Uh, oh wow, he is not attacking, because that is the breeder and the queen. So, no. Again, very lucky. I guess the alien's distracted by the fire. We have found the airlock control. Start emergency depressurization of another yellow room. That's a good way to put the fire out in the fire room as it happens. Oh, even better, there's four items and the door slams down behind us. Which means that the alien's going to need to waste a turn to get to us. Slam. But where did we hear noise when we moved? I was just going to say, please not a one. I don't believe it. It was a one. So, um, out of the frying pan. Wait, I guess he was in the frying pan because the room was on fire. Whatever. Out of the fire into the frying pan. Either way. What's he found now? If it's another adult, that's a problem, because I've only painted two of them. He found an adult, uh, and it's got attack value two. Which means he's fine again, don't need to use Nerds of Steel, because three cards left in the hand. Three, three cards, there we are. So it's back over to the captain for now, and they'll have to put an unpainted adult there. Because, uh, as I say, there's only the two painted so far. So I think this is already more alien than we saw in either of the two games where I was controlling one character because it's much easier to control where you hear noise. Let's see, all characters in the room you're in, including yourself, can draw one card for motivation. So, let's see, I'm, I'm just debating what to do with the captain. I guess we're going to use the six sure. can only be reloaded with his card that says that, but if you get a double hit marker on the die, you deal one additional wound. I don't think there's much chance of him killing an adult, but we could maybe make it go away. The alternative is we take a hit and run down to engine two. Uh, we could always try once and then run away if need be. So sure, I'll discard a search card in order to do an attack. We need the attack die. <clears throat> I 
That is a larva, I think, or a creeper, sorry, which is not good enough to do damage to him. Um, we can't even do a reroll, and that's one ammo gone. Yeah, I think we're going to play the other card to run into the engine room, which means we're going to get attacked. Which means I need to come up here and get the intruder card. Will they actually do a thing now? Yes, they will, and it's a nasty one. It's a bite. If the character has two serious wounds, they die. If not, they suffer one serious wound. That also would have been, meant he had four health, so there was no chance we were killing it there. So, serious wound card. Goes to our good captain. He has been bled. Each time you pass in the player phase, you suffer a light wound. That's really, really, really bad. That's one of the, I think that might be the worst serious wound in the base game. He did run away, though. So he's down here. We have to roll for noise. One. Uh, that's there. Good at rolling ones today. So that's his turn done, which means he's passing, so he immediately also suffers that light wound from that bleed. Uh, I don't think the alcohol does anything to get rid of it either. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're not done with the soldier's turn yet. Things are going swimmingly for both. Alright, back over to the soldier. Now, not in a room on fire, which means he gets the opportunity to shoot this unpainted mess. So let's get rid of a search card and fire. His assault rifle does one additional injury if he deals at least an injury, which he didn't, so ignore me. And let's discard a search card. Do it again. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Well, that's two ammo down for absolutely nothing. He only has one card left, and the captain's already passed, so he might as well shoot again, try and get him out of here before the end of the turn. So that's three ammo down in total. Let's roll. Good enough. So that is one injury. He does an extra energy injury if he does one, and the intruder has five health, so he's totally fine. So, well, not totally fine. The two damage stays on. Let's uh, we'll use those cubes there to show how much damage he's had. But that is the end of the round. All right, round ticks down to twelve. Then we have to do the intruder attack phase. So the intruder in the same room as the soldier is attacking him for nothing. It would have transformed a creeper into an adult. Good. Then we do fire damage. The intruder adult in the room on fire takes one damage, uh, which is just out of line of sight. Apologies. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. Up. Oop. Up there. He's taken one damage. I presume you draw a card to see if it kills him, even though because it's an adult, it's basically impossible. Yeah, he had five health, so he's fine. I might be wrong about having to draw a card at that step. I'm not sure. Then we do an event card, and then bike. Event then bike. Hunt. So, let's see here. This does not have the adult symbols. This is creepers, breeders, and queens. Oh, it does actually say that. Move every adult intruder not in combat to a neighboring room with a character if possible. There are several rooms to choose from. Move the adult to the room with the lowest room number. So he is going to attempt to come through here and smack the door and break the door. But he doesn't come through just yet. That's the, the upside of doors. Unfortunately, the intruder that the captain just ran away from is now in his engine room with him. Which also means he can't check the engine while he's in there with it, I believe. Great, okay, well, new round. Time to draw up some cards. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot bag development again, even after saying do the bag. It is so easy to forget. Alright, let's draw one of these. Let's draw this. What is it? It's an adult token on the bag development step. All players roll for noise. If you're in combat with an intruder, you don't perform noise. So we don't roll anything, so it didn't matter because they're both in combat. Well, we have a nasty surprise following us into the engine, so we're going to ignore engine 2 and just get out of there. We're going to play suppressive fire as its actual action. It's a zero cost, so no other additional discards. You do lose one ammo, so that's a second shot from the revolver gone. You or one other person in the room may escape without triggering an intruder attack. And we're escaping down to here, which is uh, it's the armory. That's the room that uh, the soldier needs. Unfortunately, there's noise in every 3 a.m. Noise in every direction that doesn't currently have noise, which is there and there, which is not good. Then for his other action, um, he's going to I really want to search for ammo, but I can't with that alien breathing down my neck. We're going to get rid of interruption and rest in order to move carefully or quietly 
careful movement down to engine room one and that way we can dictate that the noise is there although I have been rolling well I want to know would I have rolled another one I've been rolling a lot of those no okay so I'm glad I made the right decision he's not passing yet he saw his two cards left so he doesn't take another light wound yet we'll be back to him in a second over here I would very much enjoy the soldier getting rid of this alien with two wounds so we're going to start with taking aim so it's just a shoe action but we get to re-roll the first result if we don't like it which is just as well because only has one bullet left after this good enough that is three wounds putting him at five does five kill him it does he is dead get this painted unpainted abomination off my table I don't have the intruder corpse token handy I doubt it will matter either but I'll put it down in between takes if I remember so that's one action Ooh, what are we gonna do now though we need to carry on helping the captain do his mission unfortunately so we're gonna move let's get rid of our interruption card to go down here which is the canteen have a snack I think if you rest here you actually get an extra card oh and a door slamming down behind that's perfect two items wanders down here another door slams where's the noise three which is to the hibernatorium well, we weren't really planning on going that way anyway so that's not so bad and that's his two actions back over to the captain I know his cards along the bottom here are kind of getting in the way hopefully it will stay focused on him he is going to discard his last two cards to check the status of engine one which is damaged okay he can repair it if we repair that we know we've done enough then we just need to search one two three four five six seven eight rooms and we can go to the hibernatorium between the two of them that's doable oh but he's out of cards now so that's a pass so he's up to the second light wound and the next one will cause another serious back over to the soldier uh, you can discard two cards in the cantina to heal a light wound can't do anything else besides that also can't search for red items to get ammo back which would have been nice let's I'm gonna have to carefully move yep let's get rid of demolition and rest to carefully move down just to the room you can just about make out here which is storage oh you can search for ammo what's wrong with it it's busted and it has three items in it it's not so bad three items oops there we are three items it's malfunctioning not that, that particularly matters and noise is going to be placed in one because that's the only way to avoid immediately getting attacked because then he also needs to double back uh, on that note he's going to want to carefully double back because there's no noise there right yeah so I'm going to have to pass his turn now with just a full auto left in his hand when he only has one bullet left so the turn timer ticks down to 11 the hibernatorium opens up when it crosses down to turn 8 and that's our best bet for escaping or not escaping for getting into cryo sleep without an alien inside us hopefully I presume in the fire step the alien to your left there still counts as being in that fire room because he hits the door and then the door breaks but he's still there so that's a second wound does it kill him no it does not there's no one else in any room so we just do the vent and then bag I will remember the bag this time maybe scent of prey adults are moving into passage three so the one over here is moving up there and this one is moving oh he got through the door that he wanted so he's no longer in the room in fire place a noise marker in every corridor connected to a room containing a character with a slime marker uh, already done oh, the soldier is still slimed but every corridor around him is currently slimed and it says don't do ones that already have a noise marker okay bag development I'm remembering bag development let's see don't be an adult token an adult token would be very bad because it forces noise rolls it's the queen symbol what does the queen do I think it adds an egg if you're in the nest it would spawn the queen otherwise add another intruder egg to the intruder board and return it to the bag so now there's six eggs in the nest so as we begin this next turn I did totally forget the captain also needs to send the signal so it's not as simple as searching those rooms and he also needs to repair this engine he has his basic repair card but we've got to discard two more to actually do it so discarding two along with the basic repairs I don't think that was in focus apologies but we're going to repair this engine so now we know 
the nemesis is getting to Earth. Two of the three engines work. At the very least, the third one might be fine. And we know the coordinates have been switched to Earth. So that's that's good. Then I think we're going to discard his other two cards, which means he's going to get another serious wound until I find somewhere I can search to get a thing to heal him, which is very bad, to carefully move to the room which is hidden behind his cards here, which is... it is a medical room, it's surgery. I think you can heal wounds here, not while it's broken. Ah, oh, not while it's broken. So there's one item in here. We can at least maybe search for something that could heal us. And we get to dictate where the noise goes. We're going to put the noise in... Uh, haha, it's either here or here, and I'm just debating which way to send them. Let's put the noise up here, and we'll assume that he can do the two rooms to the left, which means the soldier needs to head back through the hibernatorium, get to the north end of the ship. Oh yeah, and that'll tick down. So, second serious wound, because he's passing at this point. So along with bleeding profusely, he's now bleeding profusely. Thankfully, I believe they do not stack. So I'm not sure if I just lost some footage there or not, so just in case I'm recording this just to recap what just happened on the off chance that the end step of that turn wasn't covered. Turn timer moved up, event was uh, self-destruct sequence activating if the generator room had a malfunction token on it, it does, so the self-destruct sequence has activated and were, that was about it. So our captain needs to get moving and that means I can't move quietly. So. We're going to get rid of an, the interruption card to move up here, loudly. Engine control room, check the status of the engines. Where were you earlier? What's wrong with it? It's slimed with three items in it. So now the captain is also slimed. And we roll for noise. We want a one. That's a two. So he has discovered an intruder. But what variety? Let's see. Let's grab this. Oh, it's the Queen, and it's four cards. He uh, he actually does have four cards left in his hand, but that's really bad. Well, isn't that just peachy? For his next action, he's going to use a suppressive fire, losing one ammo, but gets to run away. And again, he had enough cards that the surprise attack didn't happen. And he's going to flee over here, back into the hibernatorium for now. That means we have to pass over to the soldier, and we're not passed yet, so he doesn't take a light wound. That's in you have to pass your entire turn. But now there is another danger on the board. Well, the captain can no longer get down to these two rooms easily. Oh, move that queen marker. I think you put it back in the bag, actually. Because there's always got to be a queen, right? I think. Actually, maybe you don't. Oh, well. If we draw it again, I'll, I'll just take it out. Either way, he's going to get rid of a demolition card to move. He is just going to move loudly. He's going to move loudly here. One that is here, so he is also getting attacked. Of course he is. I think this is the first game where everything is going absolutely pear-shaped, because even if they don't die to the aliens, the ship's going to explode. An intruder with threat value four. How many cards do they have left? He has four cards in his hand, so it's not attacking. It does sadly mean that Mr. Unpainted is back right there. He has another action, and I'm going to... Covering Fire. Thankfully, he also has a card that just lets him or a friend escape. So, goodbye. We're going down here. The laboratory, which is where you would take the corpse. It's on fire! Jolly good. Okay, well, the room is on fire. Where is he making noise? One, which is the way he's going. That's not as good as it could have been. I'll, I'll take that though. That's his two actions for now. I don't think fire damages you until the end of the turn, so he's good for now. Back over to the captain. I don't think I rolled noise for him when he went into the hibernatorium, and I think you have to even if you use that card, so let's quickly do that. So there's noise there, and then we can actually do his turn. He's moving and then moving to get to the generator room, um, so I'm just going to discard a card. Well, I guess we'll do it step by step because he has to do noise rolls. Actually, he's only got three left, so I might as well do a quiet move, then a loud move. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So, first move is quiet, to let me dictate that the sound goes in the one place it can go without summoning an alien. Then we'll get rid of his last card. He's taking a light wound, because he's ending his turn one way or the other. 
and he's going into the broken generator room and hoping not to summon anything else that roll behind the alien queen but it is a two which means oh no something is waiting for him in there and is definitely attacking him because uh, his hand is empty even if it's a larva it's just going to face hug him oh it's the blank okay it's the blank which just remember uh, if the blank token, yeah, you add an intruder adult to the bag. So let's just do that real quick. His turn's over. He's taking a light wound back to the soldier. All right, let's get rid of a basic repair card to move. We're moving over here. It's the emergency room where you can treat your wounds. This is the room the captain needed. And it's silent, although not silent, because we are still slimed. We never got rid of the slime. We haven't had the opportunity either, to be honest. So unfortunately, that does mean noise everywhere, but it doesn't mean... A summon of an alien so basically that's just noise right there which is the result we would have hoped for anyway he's not wounded he is slime this room doesn't let you treat slime now we just need one to one of those two rooms we haven't searched is the signal room which is doubly annoying ah oh, I wish I had the technical plans hmm he's gonna end his turn there in the hopes that he can search for a medic item next turn and help the captain but that things are bad. So at the end of that round, the self-destruct timer ticks down to five. We have to stop it soon, or the escape pods are the only way out of here. We tick down to nine, so the hibernatorium does open next turn. Fire damage, there's nobody in fire damage rooms, so we go straight to the event. Oh, the queen is moving to route two. She's in the surgery. Splat. Resolve an encounter for each character who is in the nest or is carrying an egg. Thankfully, that is nobody and nobody else is moving. Bag development for the turn. Shake the you-know-what out of it. Grab a token. It's probably an adult. No, it is a larva, so that's now growing into an adult. And the adult token goes in the bag, which is in there right now. So I'm not zooming in too much to the captain because he's doing pretty basic stuff. He is using his basic repair card, which thankfully he did draw, though he had not the chance to do some card draw with, um, I forgot what it's called, but either way, he's going to get rid of Demolition and Rest, so he can do the repair, which lets him use the room as his other action, and he's, he's taken one for the team here, because he only has two cards left. Using the Generator Room, I believe, is a two cost. Let me just double check. Generator Room, yep. But in doing so... He discards the last of his hand, which means he's instantly passing, so... But the self-destruct sequence is turned off, so that marker's just gone now. But he takes another wound, which means when he takes another one, that'll be his third serious wound, and then after that, any damage, light or otherwise, just outright kills him. To get where he needs to be, the soldier is going to have to do something incredibly stupid. He's going to discard a card to move, and he's going to move into the room with the queen. I believe you don't need to roll for noise if you're going into a room with an intruder because hey, it's making all the noise anyway, so scree, he's in there with her. But then he's going to discard his smoke grenade plus one other card. Let's get rid of a uh, interruption because it's, it's not relevant in co-op or solo. So use it in the room you're in. All other characters in this room discard one action, which isn't relevant, but you move to a neighboring room and intruders don't attack you during that movement. That's the important part. So he's going to teleport to the engine control room up there. Again, presumably that doesn't trigger a noise roll. If that's wrong, apologies. And we're staying over here because the captain is done for the turn. I did say I was going to search for a rest incidentally. Didn't draw a search card, so couldn't. So that's why we didn't do that. He'll move again, and he will move carefully. He'll keep the Nerves of Steel card in his hand, because that's the best one to keep in your hand, so you don't get surprise attacked. Move into the hibernatorium. He'll dictate the noise goes there. And that's him done for the turn. That was not a productive turn. Well, no, it was. We got rid of the self-destruct, but I think the captain's going to die as a result. So we tick the timer down. It's behind here. The hibernatorium is now open. That's turn eight. The self-destruct is switched off, so we don't do that. There's no fire damage to worry about. Straight to event. So the queen is moving again. Uh, the queen is moving to area three. It's in the emergency room. No wonder it's an emergency. Move every adult intruder not in combat to a neighbouring room with a character if possible. Is there anywhere that's... Oh no. The captain just can't catch a break. Right there. 
Oh, actually, neither can the soldier. Right there. Oh, neither can the soldier. He's attacked by two of the, the things now. <laughs> if there are several rooms to choose from, you choose the one with the lowest room number, but no. So, um, things just went from pretty bad to foobar in the space of like three seconds. Well, before we go on to the captain's turn, I did once again forget the bag. It's so easy to forget the bag when you've got an event that has a lot of steps for you to think about. So, it is a larva, so that is another adult in the bag instead. And the captain, as far as I can tell, the only way to stop him dying either this turn or the next turn is getting to the canteen. Nope, never mind, there's no items left in the canteen. There goes my plan. My plan was to get him in there to search for the green deck and hope that he gets something that dresses a serious wound. He can't do that. Uh, he's going to die. He is going to die. That's, that's just going to happen. I don't think I can stop it. He, If he tries to escape, the alien is going to attack him. Oh, we know he can suppress the fire out of there, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So, he'll suppress the fire. I leave some with two bullets left in the revolver. He can move without being chased. Again, presumably, you still have to roll the noise. And that's not a good result. That does clear the, uh, the tunnels, though. Which I might have forgotten about at some point, because I feel like we've had an intruder attack in a room with the, the tentacle corridors connected. Maybe I'm wrong. What's he getting attacked by? It's probably going to kill him. It's a uh, three threat adult. How many cards does he have left in his hand? One, two, three, four. He's good, but I need to look out another unpainted adult. Give me one second. I think this is the end of our dear ca captain because he doesn't have enough ammo to really be a threat to it. I can't just run away. We're gonna have to try and uh, we're gonna have to try and move carefully so I can dictate where the noise moves when he escapes. And if he draws an attack that hits him, he's just gonna be dead. Uh, but I have to. I have to. So, two cards removed. He is attempting to run away. I have to come around this side of the camera to draw the attack card. Don't have the adult on it. It's the worst possible result. It insta kills him. Because <laughs> he's got two serious wounds. If the character has two serious wounds, they die. Now, if you're playing pure soul or co-op, there is actually a revive mechanic. But, um, we're not going to be using that. He is devoured and dead. And now... We can't do our objectives because he can't send the signal. If the soldier clears the hibernatorium, he can get in though and live. Now just looking at the situation the soldier's in, he has, what, five, four bullets. He has a full auto card, but that would be good enough to get rid of one of the aliens, but the other one is still there. And then you still have to do a noise roll to get in the thing, and that would probably summon something else. It's not looking good. It's looking like this is the end, my friends. But we'll try, so we'll discard a search card just to do a basic gunshot. And to, so that's three ammo left into the unpainted one. Come on, double hit. That is not good enough. Wait, maybe it is. Hang on, I'll double check that one. Double check. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that actually did two damage to him. Did it kill him or drive him off at least? Nope. No, it did not. So we will fire again by discarding a search card. Two ammo left. Well, no other person to switch to, so it's still us. Let's get rid of a full auto card, actually. I mean, there's nothing we can do. I'll get rid of a covering fire card. So he's got one bullet left. Shooting into the same injured one to try and make it run away. That's a hit, it becomes two hits. That's two more damage. Four. Is four enough to drive him off? It is. He is dead. So that one died. We still have two cards left. Discard all the ammo from your rifle. You deal one additional injury for every two ammo discarded, even if you miss. So you need at least two for this to be relevant. We'll fire our last ammo at the surviving alien who's blocking our escape. It needs to be a double mark to even have a chance, really. And it's a blank! We have no ammo left. Um, huh. Well. We, we don't really have any options here. I would have to run away and search for items. That's the only, the only thing we can do. So, yeah, he'll, he'll get rid of the Nerves of Steel card to try and escape. We get attacked. And it takes a big old scratch of us. We take a light wound and get contaminated. I don't think that's going to matter. But we do get contaminated. And we're up here now. 
go for noise and that's fine and then we'll just quickly cover the end of the turn or rather the crossover to the next turn so that's ticking down to seven what do the event and aliens do oh lots of movement three that's actually good so he moves down there the queen moves as well moves back through to surgery can't make up her mind this alien goes here and the one that just finished eating the captain goes back into the vents because he's got a belly full. Launch the escape pod token with the lowest number, which would be the one up here. It just prematurely launches without us. Further, oh, that wasn't on camera, top left of the board. Um, that further reduces the options we have for getting out alive. So I think this is probably gonna be the last turn in terms of like having any chance at all. Um, we are gonna do a search of the room that he's in and we're gonna search for ammo. So two more red cards from the red deck. Oh, there's ammo right there. We're definitely taking that regardless of what the other option is. So we're going to take that and we're going to use that, get rid of covering fire, to use it to give us back our ammo. So there's that at least. We have five bullets to our name. Then we're going to discard two cards to move carefully to dictate where the noise goes. We're going back into the hibernatorium. We put noise there. Now that unfortunately means that, well for one we can't get back in the hibernatorium, oh I forgot to do bag development again we can't get into the hibernatorium this turn and it costs two cards to try and you have to roll noise so we're definitely getting attacked next turn um, bag development was an adult which means we would have had to do a noise roll up there it would have been a four which means something would have attacked us and that does actually matter uh, that would still be there regardless of what happened Let's see what would have attacked us. Apologies for forgetting and doing this in the wrong order again. That is, is that a larvae or a creeper? I need to check. I think that's a creeper. Yeah, it is. So that would have attacked us. I'll look it out in the model in a second. Would have done an attack. Oh, what threat value was it? Oh, it was only threat value one, so actually it wouldn't have done anything. So we still would have been able to escape, but it would have done another attack on us. Let's see if that would have mattered. Absolutely. The character gets a slime card and one contamination. So we're up to two contamination and we're already slimed. Jolly good. And then we have to end our turn because I don't have enough cards to try and get in the hibernatorium this turn. So it takes down to six. We're just going straight to the event. So adults and breeders move to four. So it's down there, that's up there, another one already went away. Place a noise mark in the technical corridor if there isn't already one there, okay? That's basically it because there wasn't a noise in the technical corridor. It doesn't really matter at this point. All that comes down to is, I try and search to get in the hibernatorium, we roll for noise, it literally doesn't matter, it will summon something. Okay, so it summons something. All these go away, we get attacked. I forgot bag development again, so let's do that first. I get, well, not that it matters. Actually, it does matter, because if this had done noise, then the turn plays out. Oh, it would have forced me to do a noise marker roll. So something would have spawned at this point, which actually means I have two cards to spare then, which is more time to shoot at whatever's about to attack me, which is actually nothing. That's very lucky. We still have to do a noise roll, but we are actually gonna get out with the soldier. It doesn't matter what two cards I discard. Doesn't matter what we roll in the noise. It would have been a one, which is here. But, I mean, we, we have lost, just to be clear, because the captain died and we didn't do his objectives. But, we had, what, three contamination cards? So even though he's into the hibernatorium and the nemesis is going to Earth, now we get to see whether or not we died. So I have looked out, or looked over, stretched over for this. Drawn our three contamination cards because I wasn't actually drawing them at the time we were gaining them. We definitely needed at least two, so I'm just going to scan this one first. This will not pick up on camera. You have to slide it in and see if it says infected, and I, I doubt that's picking up. So this one, infected. Nope. So that one's good. We're not, we're not impregnated by an alien yet. Let's try card number two of three. Again, I don't think it's showing up, but I'll show it just in case. I, I can't tell on the small window. This one's good. It's for you. It's what that one says. Is closest to infected. All right. Did we get out without having an alien in our belly? 
then at least it's a Puric victory. Puric victory. Oh, does that say infected? It does. It does. So if we were supposed to draw three, I can't remember if it was two or three. If it was two, we're actually out alive with the soldier. But it does. It says infected right there. So if it was three, we are dead. A chest burster comes out of him when he's woken up on Earth. And we lose about as hard as it is possible to lose. Boy, the board ends up messy after a game of Nemesis, even if you're solo playing. So yeah, that's much more akin to the normal experience I had playing Nemesis with friends digitally and, and whatnot. It's very difficult to win, or if you do technically win in the terms of you get out alive, you might get screwed over by an alien being in your belly, or just not achieving your objectives, or you know the engines being busted and not realising. Oh, speaking of which, what was the last engine? It was damaged. So, there we go. So, the captain died, trying to do his best. He, he shut off the self-destruct to at least give the soldier a chance. The soldier made it, he fought his way into the hibernatorium, thinking that he was doing a good thing sending the nemesis back to Earth without realising it's full of aliens, and so is his stomach. So really he made things worse. But that was fun, I sincerely hope you enjoyed a little return to Nemesis. If you want to see more please do let me know, and until next time, ta-ta for now.